Hey there, and welcome back to our channel. I'm Mimi, and today I'm taking you on a wild ride through our Swedish adventure. As some of you know, Derek and I split our time between the stunning landscapes of Switzerland and the scenic beauty of North Sweden. In our last episode, we faced the reality of renovating our 100-year-old house. Broken pipes, years of neglect, our trip so far was one for the books. And now the journey continues. We managed to replace a few windows, but the clock is ticking and there's still a lot of work ahead. So, will we conquer the challenge of replacing all the windows before we have to fly back to Switzerland? It is a race against time and we're bringing you along for the thrill. So, let's dive into the adventure that awaits. So we just came back from the glass store. We had glasses made for the outside door, the frosted glasses. So we went there and we picked them up. That's them. But we're gonna be putting those in. I think they turned out pretty good. So initially we were thinking to replace this door, but after ordering the glass, we had a change of heart. There's just something about keeping the character of this old house intact that just feels right. So instead of going for a shiny new door, I am scraping off that old sealer. Once I've got that stripped down, we'll do some sanding and a fresh coat of lacquer. I've got a feeling this is going to look amazing when we're done. For those of you who are new to our channel, I will give you a quick update. So we've bought this house in Sweden that needs a total renovation. Right now we are working on replacing all the windows. To see how that started, you can watch our previous video in the link that just popped up in the screen. So last time we ran into quite a bit of issues with the plumbing. But Derek fixed it right now so that you could use the sink. Yeah, just the sink. We don't have any hot water yet, but we have cold water. Uh, but that's better than nothing. We got a whole lot of uh, laundry to do too. So I think I'll be doing that in the sink with the cold water just by hand. And uh, we can hang it outside. We have 24 hours of daylight, so it should dry pretty fast, I you think. think. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> so what we have been doing for hot water um, is just boiling some water. And if we need more water, we put it in the big pot. We put um, four windows in right now, and there's still gonna be the top uh, three windows and one more window in the kitchen. We are very tired and confused about the time difference. It stays light here 24 hours a day, so you don't really get tired, you just keep working. So while we're out here, some of you have been asking about the garden, about the rose bushes. So let me give you a quick update on that. And this is the biggest bush, but these guys are not blooming yet. But here on the other side, they are, and they are beautiful. And remember the rose bushes that we had in the front? Yeah, that's right, those little stumps over there. Well, they came back and they are definitely not rose bushes. Does anyone know what these are? I don't know, honestly. And our little house. That one's new, that one's old, that one's new, and that one still needs to be replaced as well. Our neighbor is gonna come by and have a look at the chimney because it's in real bad shape. He offered to fix it. Or at least he's gonna make a temporal fix so water's not leaking in the house anymore. The bricks have been falling off, so that's really after the windows the next big thing to have done. In the meantime, Derek is still working on the windows. 
We actually have to run to the store because we have to buy some wood. Uh, Derek needs to build complete new window frames because the old wood is in such a bad condition. So we're out here today shopping for wood. We need to get some trim boards for the upstairs windows. So hopefully we can find something over here. You want it all upstairs, I guess? So we found this really uh, nice deal on a washing machine and a dryer. A uh, second out one in Lulio. It's about an hour's drive. So we're gonna go and pick it up probably tomorrow, which for that we need a dolly. So we got a dolly. So I'm just gonna put them together right now. And I'm sure it'll be useful for other things around the house. Some of you might have been wondering how we're taking showers without hot water. We have been cooking our water to warm it up and then we put the cooked water in the bucket and we mix it up with a bit of cold water. And it takes about three pots of boiling water to fill up enough water to take a three minute shower. So it takes a while. And then Derek found this camping shower where uh, it's pretty much a USB-C that you charge a little battery and it has a pump. So then you put the pump in a bucket and it comes out of the shower head. Good morning, everyone. Today is a new day and what better to do than working on the windows. So because the old windows upstairs were broken, we had some leakage over here, which made the old window frames go bad. So that's why we had to replace them. This obviously takes more time than the windows downstairs, but luckily it's only three windows upstairs. While Derek has been busy with the windows upstairs, I've been sanding the front door. And now it is time for that fresh coat of lacquer. There's a spot on the door that got damaged while sanding, and I'm not sure yet how we're going to fix it. But for now, I will just keep going. The trim still needs sanding before I can put lacquer on it. Oh, that's pretty. I like those wooden boards. That wall's old. Oh wait, did that make the opening smaller then? Yes. Why would you do that? Derek decided to tear out some of the wall because later on we want to open up the hallway to create more living space. We need to know what is behind the wall so we can plan this part of the renovation while we're back in Switzerland.
So we have old old, newish old, and new walls. It wasn't here. That's what I'm saying, new old. It went to the chimney. Oh, at some point they closed off the chimney. They made that bastard. When you start tearing off the walls, you see how the house was originally. Oh, you find interesting things. That's the thing. Like that. I've been keeping parts of the old wallpaper because I want to frame some of it and hang it up in the house as a piece of art once everything is finished. I think this will be a nice reminder of what the house used to be. Hundred-year-old wallpaper. This is where the wood stove used to be. I'm not sure what this is. I think the wood stove was tucked in there. That's where the chimney was. Oh wow! Look at that ceiling. That's the easiest roof I've ever torn out. <laughs> Perhaps we get a little too curious, but hey, it all had to come out at some point anyway. I say we just keep it like that. It's really pretty. Sand it a bit and oil. Clean it and oil. Take those out. Right in the middle where the seam is was a lot harder to take down. There's a lot of nails holding it together, so we will leave it for now. So we just came back from Lulio and we got ourselves a washing machine. Two. Makes life a lot easier. Yeah, we got a washing machine and an other one, that, which is a washing machine and a dryer. So they are there. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. It's not too heavy. Don't tilt it. Go up straight. You can make the drum wonky if you. Sorry. <laughs> it seems to be working. 
That hand wash took me four hours. Yeah, I mean, it was fun for once, but <laughs> not for every time. Plus it took four days for the, the laundry to actually dry outside because it was so wet, I couldn't really rinse it out that well. So this makes life a lot easier. For the next two days. For the next two days we're here. No, also for next trips. So I leave my husband alone for uh, about half an hour with wet laundry and with ratchet straps and I come down and find this. He uh, thinks it's going to rain, so. Now, when it rains, the laundry doesn't get wet. Works out pretty good. If you don't mind ducking. Well, I'm going to be sleeping in a couple minutes, so I don't mind. Tomorrow will be our last day here, so we're trying to finish up most of the work that's left so that we can clean up tomorrow and have everything as much done as we can before we leave. So these right here are the trim of the old windows. We're gonna replace it, but not just yet. So what I'm doing right now is scraping the old paint off and giving it a fresh layer of paint so that it will be waterproof for the winter. Might not look the prettiest, but it will work for a little while. We have been painting the window frames. The two top ones are finished. And this one's finished. So what Derek is doing right now is cutting wood to make trim for the windows. So when he's finished, I can paint that window.
As we sailed away into the midsummer sunset, we reached the end of our trip, though we realized there would be a long and exciting journey ahead of us. Join us on our steps into the unknown by subscribing to follow our remarkable journey. And I'll see you next time.